Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have, I would say, a small Pretty Little Things haul. I just wanted to try a few of their pieces to see how I feel about them. And then in turn, I wanted to give you all my feedback before you started shopping there, only because I feel as though whenever I buy things, I too want to be an informed consumer and or a buyer of these items. And for my next video, I'm gonna discuss a company that's essentially similar to Pretty Little Things and how I feel about them. So yeah, I'm probably going to film that after this. So on top of me showing you all these things from Pretty Little Things, I also want to include a few pieces that I purchased from other places, things that I know for a fact is going to get a lot of use this summer. And I wanted to show you all the pieces I have been loving as well. So the first two items, of course, are some shoes. And these items are from Coach, but I purchased them from Saks. And I know for a fact I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these. They are a pair of sandals, and the first one I purchased is in this blue color. This is what they look like. This is the true color of them. This is what the bottom sole looks like. As you all can tell, the stitching on these sandals are absolutely amazing. They're gonna hold up. And what I love about them the most is the fact that they're not too stiff, yet they're sturdy. And I can tell that this sandal piece, like the part that your toes goes in between, is very, very secure because I've been having problems with previous sandals of mine sliding out. Also, the hardware on here is silver, which in my opinion, silver for the most part looks better on me than gold, even though I have a lot of things with gold hardware. So I had to pick these up, especially because I plan on wearing, with, wearing them with a lot of denim jeans. I also purchased them in this black color. Again, as you all can see, the hardware on here is like this pewter, dark grayish color, which I really, really like. Sometimes I feel as though silver on my blacks can be a little too stark. So I prefer a darker gray hardware piece when I'm wearing them. Again, they have like this flexible yet sturdy gum sole. And yeah, I know that these are going to look good with almost everything I plan to wear for the summer. Lastly, they hold my feet in like most of my, um, like most of the sandals I tend to wear a lot. So yeah, these are gonna get a nice wear out of me. So the first piece I picked up from Pretty Little Things is like this tube dress in black. Um, I have right now my bra straps tucked in. So if you see a little bulge right in this area, it definitely is my bra straps. What I don't like about this dress is the fact that it for sure is see-through. Um, you can see a lot through it, so if you wear any vibrant undergarments underneath it, you will see them. Also, the banding around the top of it. Yeah, I, I would say for the most part, I do like how secure the band around the bosom area feels. It does feel like it's extremely secure. Also, the material on the dress, let me step back so you all can see it. The material on the dress is very, very stretchy. So it is that, that stretchy cotton polyester material, which I feel is very, very comfortable for the summer, seeing as it's very, very lightweight and breathable. So if you're one to get hot easily, you definitely do want to pick this up because it's very, very breathable. So this next dress is in the exact same size as the one that I just showed. However, this dress has a lot more of a compression-like feel on it. Not that it's thick and sturdy, but it feels like I can't really move in it, even though it's my size. I know that sounds strange, 
but that's how it feels. Now the top of this, it has like this elastic band at the top. However, it is not anywhere near as thick as the other one that I've shown you all. I do love the pattern on this. It goes right below my knee and it elongates my figure a lot. But as you all see, when it comes to the bulging on the waistline, it has a lot of that. And if I decide to pull it down, it's just gonna bow out. So I don't really, really like dresses like that. But when it is that I do decide to wear this one, I do plan on wearing it how it is now and maybe with some sort of leather jacket or something. I think that would be very, very cute on chillier days. This next piece is this off the shoulder crop top. It does have like this stretchy material going on with it, which is great for me because my arms can move freely in it. It's very, very lightweight. And I personally do like this piece. I don't like the fact that the arms are very, very, I'm not gonna say extremely tight, but almost too tight for me because of my muscular bicep. But that's a personal problem. Nonetheless, I do like how it hits on the body. Um, I love that, again, it this material is really, really good for women that carry a lot in the breast as well as those that are, that don't necessarily have too much there, if you get what I'm saying. But it's very, very versatile and diverse in how a lot of people can wear it. But yeah, nonetheless, it is diverse in how people of different shapes and sizes can wear this item. So the next piece I'm gonna show you all is not from Pretty Little Things. It's actually from this store called Agassi. I do like this store. However, the one specific brick and mortar that I go to is going out of business. So if I do wanna shop there, I'm gonna to have to shop online. Nonetheless, I love tops like this, not exactly like this, but tops similar to it with over exaggerated sleeves. I don't know why, I've just been loving them. I love, no, I do know why. I love the fact that they make a bold statement and you can wear them to like a formal event and or a casual event and still stand out. I love the versatility of that. And if you're looking for tops like this, I know that you can find a lot on Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Things as well as on revolveclothing.com. I do purchase a lot of my items from there, but I don't typically show people because their price ranges differ from a lot of places that I think people will be interested in. So if not, let me know. The next items I've been in love with have been crop tops. This one in particular, again, is from Agassi. And I really, really like crop tops that have a, what would I call it? Like a crop tops that have spice and kick to them. So like this top, for instance, I could dress this up or down or just go to the store in it because it's very versatile. Other crop tops that I've been loving have been those with like spaghetti straps around them or the ones that have been like off the shoulder but has a lot of detailing going around the waist, primarily because they cinch your waist in and they allow your bottom half to bow out. Like those hips become so much more pronounced when wearing items like those. So I've been interested in them. If you're looking for an hourglass shape, I do suggest you wear more tops that do come in and stop at the waist or right above um, that waist and the hip area just to give yourself that look. All right, so the last piece, again, is from Agassi and Pretty Little Things. It's their swimming suit. Now, I really, really do like this swimsuit because it's a thong swimsuit. I'm not gonna show too much in the back. 
However, I think it pairs well with this, um, I guess it's a cardigan from Agassi. Like I love how all of them have the tassel and this cardigan has this beachy vibe. Let me stand back so you all can see it. It does touch the floor, which I do love. It's not too much to the point where I'll pick up a lot of sand. I will be wearing this out of town, so you all will see it on my Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on social media so you can see this full look without me covering all of it up. Um, yeah, that may be doing too much, but I more than likely will wear it that way. Nonetheless, this is what it looks like while still trying to keep it a little cute. So as far as my experience with pretty little things, there's a few things I think you all should be made aware of. When ordering from the site, look for coupon codes. There have been so many of them that I've seen that have popped up and I believe I got like 30% off of them. I did purchase a another piece for my friend. I'll have her take a picture of it and include it somewhere. Now that piece, I ordered it in my size and I assumed my size on their site. Um, I believe I assumed it was a size eight on their site. I'll let you all know in the bottom bar if that's correct. But I ordered that for her anyway and I wanted to see if that size eight was a true size eight. So what I did is I ended up trying her piece on and my butt did not fit. So if you carry a lot back there, then you might want to go up a size in their jumpsuits. I don't know if it was that particular jumpsuit. Again, I'll link the pieces that I purchased from the site in the bottom bar as well. Now, the only thing I don't like about this site is the fact there that there aren't any reviewers. So. You know how with like sites like Fashion Nova, you can see typically how other people that are your size, height, and or weight to fit things. You can't see them on this site. In fact, um, you have to try and use certain techniques to figure out if certain things are going to fit you, like uh, the material that is used, similar to materials that you have purchased in relation to other pieces before. And to be honest, that didn't always work because as you all see with that dress, I did the exact same thing. I saw what material was used on that dress and I tried to find my correct size. Even though it did fit, it was tight on my bottom half. So you might want to steer clear of that and nothing in my opinion is wrong with going up a size because you can always take items in. It's harder to take and let items out. All right, as far as shipping, I saw other reviewers say that they received their items fairly fast. In total, I only had five items. I had the item I purchased for my friend, two dresses, a swimming suit, and that mustard colored top. Those five items ended up taking me about 10 days to receive. So that may not be the case for everyone, but that was the case for me. So if you receive your items a little late, just be advised that I did warn you about that. It may not bother you. It did bother me because I did want to wear those pieces on a trip. Lastly, as far as the swimming suit goes, the top, okay, the bottoms fit me perfectly because it's like a thong bottom. It fit me absolutely perfect. Um, yeah, I have zero complaints about it. However, the top, even though I'm gonna wear it, <laughs> I feel as though if you're very, very conservative as far as how much material you want to have on your breast area, you're gonna want to go up a size in the whole outfit. If I had gone up a size, yes, I would have had more, I more than likely, I'm not gonna say I know for a fact, I more than likely would have had more material in the breast area, but it also would have been more material in the pubic area and that for me wouldn't have been perfect. So the bottom part did fit perfectly. The top was perfect if you're comfortable with having, you know, a lot of, a lot, a lot of cleavage. I also do like the fact that the, that the company does have a return policy 
and I believe you do get your money back, which I can't say that for other companies, but I do like the fact that you can get your money back. Um, again, you do have to pay for shipping to ship the items back. So again, if you're unsure as to what size you should get in a particular item, look for things in your closet that are already made of the same material before purchasing or go up a size. Again, you can never go wrong with going up a size. So yeah, guys, that is it for this haul and review. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also hit that notification bell so you can be notified as to when it is that I post a video. And yeah, guys, until next time, peace.